Great Lakes steamboats and their engines tells the history of the first 11 steamboats on the Upper Great Lakes. From the pioneer steamboat Walk in the Water in 1818 to the advanced steamboat Ohio in 1830, a period of only 12 years, the Great Lakes was transformed from a fur trading culture to a bounty of farms and cities. The book contains an abundance of original art accompanied by ship perspectives and ship lines. There are also 3D rotating models of each ship at the beginning of its chapter, along with videos showing those ships on the way. Four engines were utilized during this time, and the operation of each is explained in detail, such as in the following example. The bolt and watt engine consisted of a cylinder and a piston, to which steam was applied, and a condenser chamber where the exhausted steam was collapsed. A clever but simple pipe interchange and valves directed the steam in turn to either the top or bottom of the piston, and also at the same time directed the spent steam to a condenser where a spray of cold water collapsed the steam into a partial vacuum. The piston is thus, it might be said, is both pushed and sucked at the same time. The valve linkage system that brought us about was a little complex. First, through a linkage of arms, rods, and pivots, the movement of the handle would open or close a pair of valves. This handle in turn was moved by a plug tree, which, through a mechanical linkage to the yoke, moved up and down in sync with the piston. Two handles operated two sets of valves. There are also aerial perspectives of the settlements of 1818 to the towns and the cities of 1830s. Extensive research was used to reconstruct these views, along with explanations to make them of use to the reader. Supplementing these views are brief histories of the villages and their founders. Original documents are used and often provided. Some of these documents have not been previously published. Also included are illustrations which include maps, cutaway views of vessels, numerous sketches, and contemporary illustrations. The book will be initially published as an iBook once editing is completed in the following months.